Migration, though, and just finally here, Treasurer, migration uh, is at zero now until the middle of next year as well because of those borders being closed. Does this mean that uh, you would be looking to explore quarantine facilities to be able to speed that up, to get some skilled migrants in, to get international students in as well? Well, we say in the budget that we expect small numbers of international students to start coming in from the end of end of the year, um, but that there is an assumption that the international border will remain closed and then gradually open from mid next year. Again, these are assumptions. These are not policy decisions. Uh, they do depend on the medical advice. The situation is, is very uncertain. Uh, but we will open the borders when it is safe to do so. And, of course, it's not just the vaccine rollout, which is a factor, but it's also how the virus uh, is, uh, is changing internationally. Uh, because we've seen new variants of the virus uh, and we've seen uh, images uh, from right across the world, the developing world and the developed world, about how it has continued to wreak havoc. Our first priority always will be here protecting Australians. We've done that from the start of this crisis by following the medical advice and we'll do it to the end of this crisis. OK. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg, as always, thanks for your time. We'll talk to you again soon. My pleasure, Pete.